My mind is my mind is blown away because Anyone honestly, that had United one stop for everything Manchester United. I'll be here to give you all the breaking news concerning Manchester United because United have put in a bid for Lenny Euro, which has been accepted. Remember last night we put in a bid for Brightweight, it was rejected. We're no longer wasting time on Brightweight anymore until everything have their senses in the in the right order. Now we have moved on to Lille for Lenny Euro. 50 million euro was accepted for Lenny Euro. Now it is up to the player. Let's get into the details of that bid. For Proviso Mano, he says, My United bid for Lenny Euro is official and has been accepted. The bid for Euro has been accepted is 50 million euro plus add on. Lille are pushing for Lenny Euro to decide and want him to choose United. And Real Madrid are still there and have an agreement with the player. And he also says, um, from Fabrizio Romano, he says Leniero has a big decision now to make. He either has to accept United's offer and join them or wait for Real Madrid. At the moment, their offer falls way short of Leo valuation. Real Madrid don't want to pay what Leo wants. And they are ready to wait for him until his contract run down next summer. But Manchester United are putting a bid of 50 million euros. So imagine, Lille, imagine you are Lille. You have, got, you have gotten a bid of 50 million euros now. Right here, right now. And Madrid are saying they will pay you 17 million euros now. Or they will wait till next year and get him on a free. So Lille have the opportunity to cash in 50 million euro total package for for Lenny Euro. So of course they will be pushing Lenny Euro to choose United. But um, according to Fabrizio Romano, he says United will not wait forever for Lenny Euro's decision and will look at other players if a decision isn't made quickly. We want two centre backs to come in in this transfer window. Come on, why haven't you liked this video? Why haven't you shared this video? Why haven't you shared this video to everybody to see that see that to see that. United are doing wonders in the transfer market. Right here, right now. United are in discussion with Zexi, Delit, Ugate, Euro, and we've also spoken to Brightweight. And we're still trying to sell Greenwood, Lindelof, and Donny. All at once. Since when has that ever happened? In the previous years, under the Ineos, under the Glazers, under Woodward, under Arnold, we usually sign one player at a time and we can spend up to one month signing one player. But now, but wow. under the Ineos group, we are seeing transfers done properly, speaking to multiple um, players, speaking to multiple agents, speaking to multiple clubs, trying to get deals done. You don't want to you don't you don't want to agree with us, get out, speak to the next person. We talked we spoke to Brightweight, everything I waste our time. Oh, yeah, Brighton go away. Um, um, uh, everything go away, speak to Lil if um Lille have accepted our bid. Euro, what is your answer? Yes or no? No. Go away. Inacio in. So that's how we're going to do it. Moving to from player to player until we get what we want. That is action. That is action. I am very, very impressed. My mind is... My mind is... Blown away. Because honestly, this is how a proper club is meant to be, meant to be run. And we haven't had that in a long while. That's why it feels like it's something special. But this is how it is meant to be. You go in and you get what you want and you move out as a big club. Nobody takes you for a fool. And we are getting our stance, our we are getting our reputation back in the transfer market because we're not going to overpay for any single person. We're going to get things done in our own terms. That is how we are getting our name out there. United are no longer going to be taken for fools. And I love what is happening with Dana Schwartz, Christopher Vivel, Omar Barada, um, Davis Bradford, Laurent Blanc, Laurent Jean Claude Blanc. Eric Ten Hag, everything is going perfectly well, and we'll get in. I mean, the worst, the, the most exciting is that the certain thing is that once we start getting players coming in, they'll start coming in. We might get, we might get them um, three players holding a shirt in one week because we're getting into advantages in a lot of deals. It's very very exciting, very very exciting. But at the end of the day, I will admit, Euro might end up choosing Real Madrid. But the thing is that we were in that deal and we were active, and our bid got accepted. But the player wanted Real Madrid. But if our if Aria Euro, come on Euro, come to United. The Hag is the best coach for you. The Hag is one of the best coach in terms of developing youth. And you are just 18 years old. What are you going to Real Madrid to, to do at 18 years old? Come to United, play for United for the next five six years. At 24, at 23, you can go to Real Madrid and we will sell you, we'll make a lot of profits from you. But if we end up winning titles and winning league titles, winning Champions League, why would you want to live in the first place? But of course, most of these young players. Real Madrid is their dream, but come on, Euro, come to United, come and play for Old Trafford, come and play for, come and play in Old Trafford, come and feel the the, come and feel the passion it, it it, it feels the, 
Come and feel what it feels like playing for United. Come and feel like what it, what it feels like being supported by the best football fan in the world. Come to United. Euro, please. Come to United. But if you don't want to come anyway, we'll go to the next person. We have Inacio. We have other targets. Glass Umbrema. People to look at. So I'm not going to force anybody to come. We are a hot kick of our own. Whatever. If you don't want to come, don't come. So let's see what Euro decides at the end of the day. But that's that coming out this afternoon. Very exciting news. But let's dive back to something else. Um, you 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 should know Mitchell Van der Gaard, the one of the coaches that came with Ten Hag from Ajax along, uh, alongside Steve McLaren. Steve McLaren was wasn't at Ajax with him, but he got in Steve McLaren also. But Mitchell Van der Gaard came with him for from Ajax. That Mitchell Van der Gaard has left United because of course Wood Van Nistelrooy and Rene Hake are coming in. Um, so one of Eric Ten Hag, most trusted, loyal lieutenant, has left the club today because we are expecting two new coaches to replace, to come in and take their spot under Eric Ten Hag coaching staff. So that's all coming out today. Remember, share this video, share this video, like the channel, like the channel, follow the page, subscribe to the channel, leave your comment in the comment section and tell me what you think about this exciting news. And I will see you all later today.